Hello everybody, this is Zach at it again. I'm your host, Zach Cooley, and I'm glad to be here with Mr. Jaden Hall. Uh, Jaden, thank you so much for being with me today. You're welcome. And we're here to talk about something very special that you have done with the beginning of the school year. Uh, you want to talk a little bit about uh, the program that you have started? I have. It's called Jaden's Project. Mm-hmm. And uh, we collect stuff for kids who don't have enough money to get equipment. Mm-hmm. And, and we clean it and donate it. Right. So it's sports equipment that you yes. gather for people. So how did you come about uh, deciding that this is what you wanted to do? My papa was the inspiration. Uh huh, and that is um, so. Your grandfather, Chris Arnold, was the inspiration. You want to talk? And you want to mention anything about him? He spent his whole life giving, and I wanted to um, spend my life giving people stuff. Very good. And when I saw that you were doing this, uh, it really touched my heart because this was not something that was uh this was not something that was brought up like the school had you do this was not something that was connected with the church this was all your idea so i was very moved by that so do you want to talk about um, the day you had at uh, Withers Park? How did you set that up? And how? I played the day at Withers Park. Mm-hmm. Did you have to get anybody's permission to do that, or did did you just did you just uh, show up and say, "Hey, everybody, come no. out"? No, I just set it up. Mm. Very wonderful. So, how uh, how did the day go? Would you consider it successful? Yes. Uh, how how much uh, do you know? How much or how many people donated? It was like I was able to help ten kids. Very good. Very very good. And you pl- do you plan to do this more in the future? Yes. What are your plans for the future of the program? So, I'm in seventh grade, and I plan huh? to do this until I get to college, until somebody takes it. Till somebody takes it over. And who do you have in mind taking it over? Could that be anyone? Do you have somebody in your family? Um, I how- live with my sister and my mom. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, now, this is all for your grandfather, who I, I knew your grandfather. Uh, he left us too young, um, and I believe, and you, you can correct me if I've got this wrong, but I, he passed away in a motorcycle accident, is that correct, this past yes. year? And he meant a lot to a lot of people. And it's yes. o- and it's obvious that he meant a lot to you. Um, can you talk about, or would you want to talk about, uh, what made uh, your relationship with him special? Um, special memories you have of him? Um, me and him just had a special bond together. Mm-hmm. We would always go fishing, go camping. And hang out at the beach. Yep. Uh, so, he, you know, pretty... I know he was a special guy, and he obviously was very, very proud of you. I can't imagine how proud he is of you from wherever he is, watching you do this and do this in his eye. Or when I see... You're, you're what, 13? Yes. I can't imagine a 13, I don't know a 13 year old anywhere that would say, I want to help people and this is what I want to do and have that um, 
and have that come off the way that you did, I just think that's amazing, and I wanted to um, draw some attention to that. So do you have any events coming up um, where you will be doing this again? Uh, are you going to be doing any kind of other programs to help folks? Um, I'm hoping to do a big event so I can get more people to come out and help. All right. Do you have And any... we're working on vendors. Very good. Do you have any idea when and where you want to do this so we can tell the vendor tell the vendors how to get in touch with you and get this going? That is that is wonderful. At the end of September and they have a email that they can reach out to you and so at the end of September, uh-huh. I have I'm wanting to start out with. I want to have one at end at the end of September. I want the Avengers. Sorry. At the end of September, I want to have the a event with vendors. And how can they and how can they contact you? They can reach me out on my email. Mm-hmm. It's Jaden Project at gmail dot com. Okay. You want to spell your name for me? J A I D E N. So it's Jaden's Project, all one word: J A I D E N S P R O. J E C T at gmail dot com. Yes. All right. Um, and so you are a seventh grader at what school? Uh, Royal Retreat. Royal Retreat. All right. And you are the son of Kayla and Douglas Hall. Is that correct? Yes. And you have. Um, do you have any siblings? Yes. All right. So you have a sister, right? Yes. And what's her name? Millie. And how old is Millie? Ten. Ten. Oh, oh she's the same age as my daughter. My daughter's ten years old and in the fifth grade. Uh, I actually think that... I, do you have some friends that live on uh, 4th Street in Whitfield or somewhere in that area? Because yes. I actually think I saw you sitting across the street from where I live. I live on South 4th Street. So, and, and I thought it was you, but I wasn't sure. So, um, so I guess that was. Um, what kind of things uh, do you enjoy doing in your free time? Obviously, you're a big sports fan. What kind of sports do you like? Baseball. Oh, all right. And uh, I am disabled, so I and been wheelchair bound all my life, so I never was much of a athlete. I tell people when they see me, it's and you can't tell it by looking at me, but I was never the athletic type. But I do enjoy going to see the baseball games at Calfee Park. Have you been there and seen those games? Um, I I like to uh, watch the baseball games there in Pulaski, and I was asking if he'd ever been to those games. Um, have I been to a game? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You have. Yes. Uh, that that's a very nice park down there, and uh, you know. So, but so you play a lot of sports for rural retreat, obviously. Um. What else do you like doing in your free time? I like to go to quarterback practice. Oh, uh uh-huh. And patient practice. So you plan on uh, being the quarterback for the Rural Retreat Indians? Is that right? I'm starting quarterback. Oh, that's exciting. Good Good for you. Um... So, 
Do you have, you got a long way to go before you worry about that yet, but have any idea what you want to do uh, when you, uh, for your professional career or when you go to college, anything like that? Um, um, I would like to be a baseball player. All right, professional baseball player, very good. Any particular uh, any particular uh, position you'd like to play? Pitcher. All right. You have a favorite team? Yankees. The Yankees. All right. Have you seen a Yankee game yet? No. Ah, uh, so that's on the bucket list. Maybe to go to New York and see that one day. Yeah. Very cool. Very very cool. Um, we've got about. Six or seven minutes. We gotta fill in here. Is there anything else that uh, Jaden might want to talk about? Anything else that he's doing that we would want to bring out to the public? Yes. Okay. It's um, it's um, all donations are for any underage kids. Any any kid under eighteen that wants to that needs any kind of sports clothing. Um, the, you're taking donations. Um, how do you find, um, the people who need help? Um, do they, uh, do they sign up? Do they just come up to you and say, hey, I want to use this? Or how, how does that work? Some people have came to me. Mm-hmm. And I sent out emails. Very good. So you got some response from people uh, yes. when uh, through email that said, I would really like to participate in this. Now, for the people that you help, is it people that are already on a sports team um, or people who want to try out for a sports team? Or is it just people that just want to play for for fun how does that how does that work we have both okay so you're you're trying to help people who want to play on sports teams and want to sign up for sports teams but if they if they don't get on the sports team and they want an outfit just to play in you will help them out with that too yes so and you started this by donating some of your older clothes, or or was it just your idea? Um, did your obviously your grandfather participated in a lot of giveaways, but how did you decide that a giveaway program was what you wanted to do? My cousin could um, play volleyball. Uh huh. And she let us know today. I mean, too late. Oh, okay. And so she, and so you did it to help her get in, correct? Yeah. Oh, well, that's wonderful. And I didn't want anybody to feel that way. Oh, right. Yeah. Anybody that felt left out, you wanted them to be a part of something. Uh, as far as the people that you helped at Withers Park, have you heard from any of them? Have you gotten thank yous? Have you heard how any of this has helped them? Or have you seen them play on any teams or anything like that? I just know that they have a lot of talent. Mm, yes, you just they have a, they have a lot of talent, and you want anybody that has a talent for sports to be given a chance to showcase that talent. So, have you ha, have you helped people just at your school, or have uh, have you helped people in in Whitfield, Fort Chiswell areas all around, or do you know? Um, I have people at Wood County School. Yeah. 
and independence. Oh, okay. So you're extended all the way through the Southwest Virginia region. Yes. Well, that is that is really good. Uh, is there anything else that you think is important that you're doing that we can talk about for the next minute or two here? Got a girlfriend you want to say hi to on the podcast? Um, yes. Oh, you do. Somehow I thought you might. What is her name? Cam. What, what's the name again? Cam. Cam. C-A-M. Okay. All right. Well, we will make sure that Cam is listening to to so that you're giving her a shout out on the podcast. All right. Um, anything else that you want to mention before we close out here? Because I think we're just about good. I appreciate it. Oh, it's it's my pleasure, Jaden. I'm sorry that I made you nervous. Um, I guarantee you that not you being on the podcast is probably going to get uh, more listeners than I usually get because you can tell all your friends and Kayla, you can you can promote it on your Facebook and and we can we can get this going, but. I do well if I get 20 people to listen to this. It's just a little thing I'm doing in addition to writing my column for the newspaper, which I've done for the last 19 years, uh, to try to, you know, one feed off the other and try to, you know, move my career as a writer. So that's why I do the podcast. So I thank you for taking the time to talk with me, Jaden. It is a pleasure to, I have seen you from afar, but it is a, it is a pleasure to meet you and uh, you make your county proud with the things that you're doing. And I know that your grandfather is proud. I know that your parents are proud. So thank you very much for giving me this time. Thank you. Thank you. 